Hello everybody. Uh, in this video we're gonna do some paddling and fishing and I'm That's food for the week. I'm gonna show you guys how this boat works. Which is not actually a boat, it's more of a it's called a raft pack. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna show you. Show you how we pump it up and how we use it and what it's for. It's pretty calm in the waters here, so it's not gonna be the testing the limit of this one. Uh, but just more of a slow, calm, nice day where I show you guys how everything works. And yeah, I'll just enjoy the weather. So, come along. Switched over to the GoPro. Uh, you have to accept the fact that you're gonna get wet when you're uh, paddling and using one of these rafts. It's so warm out today, so it's actually just nice to get a little bit wet. Um, yeah, we're just gonna paddle a little bit downstream now, and then uh, we'll see where we'll stop, and you, you're gonna do some uh, fishing from the boat as well. And uh, just really enjoy the day here. We got some visitors, or maybe they got some visitors. I don't know. Whatever you want to see. <laughs> that was cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go through the features of the boat. So when you buy the boat, you get this uh, bag with it. You use the bag in, in order to fill up the boat. A lot of people struggle with this and how to use this and maintain all the air inside. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I am in no way, shape or form a pro at this. This is just the way I do it. And yeah, feel free to give me some tips if you got a better way. Okay, so I now screw the bag uh, to the boat. And then you turn the bag against the wind and you fill it up by pulling a couple of times like this. And then you close here, you can twist it down. And then you see that I caught the air inside here. After that, it's pretty much just a squeeze. You can take your hand like this and just squeeze all the air out like that. And then you keep doing that for a couple of times. And now in the beginning, it's not that important, but once that boat starts to fill up, <coughs> Fill up. You want to catch the air or, or maintain the air, or keep the air in, inside of the raft. Of course, there's more pressure when there's more air inside. So what you do is you turn down here a couple times like that, so it becomes like an airlock. And once you got that done, you can easily just use this one again. There's still no air coming out, and you can continue like this. Turn this around, keep the air, and then you turn it back and you continue to press it out. Then you do that until it's full. It's not completely full, but it's full enough, so we're gonna do the rest uh, with our lungs. So what I do now, keep the air here it's still, then turn this off pretty quick so the air doesn't go out. Like that, and then on with this one pretty quick as well. That's it, now we're good to go and we can do the rest with our lungs here. And like that, the boat is, um, yeah, I think this is good enough. All right, now we're gonna uh, pump up the seats and the interior. Then we're good to go. All right, so we filled everything up. Uh, the seats, the boat, of course, with the raft. We attached the uh, uh, backpack. I put it in a waterproof bag. I think this is a good solution 
to uh, put it like that and then you of course want to have your bag with you in case you need to walk back like we're gonna have to do today. So uh, we relocated a little bit. I thought I'd just run through some of the features of the raft. Then we're gonna dig in a little deeper on uh, why I bought it and uh, what it's meant to be used for. Okay, so starting from the back, you have the valve right here where you can open it up and use the inflation bag that I showed you before. Quick way to uh, inflate it. And then you can use the final bit here, final touches with your, uh, with your mouth, where you fill it up here in the mouthpiece. You have the back seat uh, or the back support here. In the front here, you can buy this um, uh, waterproof bag separately. Um, I got this one just because you know I needed to uh, or I wanted to fit all the things as the essentials of the boat, an extra valve, uh, repair kit, and those things that you really want to have with you on the boat. So what is it that makes this raft so special? Well, first of all, it's handmade, so the quality is really good. Second thing is that you can really get it the way you want it to be or for your specific needs. You can buy these ones where you can uh, open them up in the back here and you can use the side tubes here as extra storage if you're going for longer trips. You can buy it specifically for uh, white water rafting and, and so on. Uh, this specific model here is a little bit longer than the usual ones so you can load more gear. You can also sit two people. It's gonna be cozy but you can sit uh, two people in it or like you saw with me and my son. Um, so that's why I bought this one because of the extra load or the extra capacity and the ability to go on longer trips with it. Another big reason to why I bought it is the ability to uh, shrink it down when you're not using it of course and you're able to just throw it in your backpack or on top of your backpack along with, uh, uh, with the paddles, uh, break them down into four pieces as you can do with this one. You can throw everything in your pack and then you can just hike on. That enables you to do a completely different set of adventures where you can travel miles on the river and then a couple of miles on land and then you can switch around and you're, you can pretty much go anywhere unless you're flying of course. I bought the version with the white water deck so I thought I'll show you now how to put it on. The white water deck is fitted with two zippers, one in this corner here and the other one down here. And we got velcro all the way up here as well so it's easy to take off if you need it. And of course you go all the way around like that. And this would go from there as well. And that's it, then you're good. All you gotta do now is just inflate this one, then you're good to go. All right, so with the last piece inflated, all we're missing now is white water. Alright guys, now later in the night or later in the evening, I'm all wet, it's starting to get a little bit cold. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I did. Uh, I got a little bit carried away. I got a little bit scared. Done this a few times. This was uh, one of the bigger ones that I've done. Uh, of course, more adventures with this boat or raft is coming in the future. Um, I'm planning to do like bigger adventures where I go from, um, uh, you know, long, longer, multi-day adventures is the word I'm looking for. Uh, so again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you didn't like it, let me know why and I'll see if I can fix that in the next one. Um, yeah, if I missed anything, uh, then yes, let me know in the description box or sorry, in the, in the comments and uh, I'll, I'll answer it as soon as I can. Um, again, thank you guys so much and take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Swedish summer.